You know, usually when I start these videos, when I make the beginning of these videos, I try and think of a story where I can relate to you and I can say, oh yeah, I've been through this as well, bro. This is what you do to escape it. I can relate to you, you watch me more and I tell the story and we can comment about it, we can speak about it and you relate to me more. The thing is, bro, with this video, it's different. I'm not ever, and I've, I've never lied to you on this channel and I never will. I would never fabricate a fake story and tell you something that isn't true so you can relate to me because i could have done this i could have said hey bro when i was when i was a child you know all these people were bullying me they were beating me up they were hurting me i could do that and i could fucking lie to you and be that piece of shit that does that but the reality is that couldn't be further from the truth for most of my school life bro even dating dating since my kindergarten days all the way to my late high school days for as long as i can remember i was the bully i was that fucking dickhead i was the motherfucker that kids would like raise their hand and say hey miss this guy hit me for most of my life i've been the bully bro i'll explain why in a second and it's a lot of psychological things but this is way better for you the fact that i was the bully this is way better for you this is infinitely better for you. You know why? Because you see these other YouTubers who, you know, they're doing the they're doing the, the, the common thing, which is like relating to you. Hey, man, I've been the motherfucker that got bullied. And this is the story of how I got bullied. And this is how I escaped being bullied. It's so much better for you because you actually see the, the psychology. You see the perspective of a former bully, right? Because I don't do this shit anymore, obviously. You get to see the psychology, the, the perspective. You get to find out if I would bully you, if I would grab you by your fucking face and like squash your nose in, if I would grab you by your collar and lift you to the bathroom and dump water into your fucking face. Oh man. <laughs> but you get to find out if I would do, if I would do those things to you in this video. You get to see it from the perspective. You get to see the mind of a bully. Now, obviously in our brotherhood, we stand against injustice and weakness because that's what bullies are to be honest in truth yeah they could have like the, the the brute strength and everything and that's what i leaned on as a child as a young man that's always what i've leaned on and it served me well and i'll explain more about it in a minute but the truth is in our brotherhood we fuck that bro that's the most very weak we stand against weakness we stand against injustice right the truth is bullies are damaged Bullies come from damaged households, they come from damaged childhoods, they come they come damaged and they return, they project that damage onto other people. That's exactly what I did. I had a fucking chaotic household. I had a chaotic household and you probably know this and my close friends know this very much. My household was extremely fucking chaotic and if I was to try and project that out into my household, I come from an Arab household bro. So I try and project that out. What happens to me? I get beat. I get beat by my dad. I get beat by my mom. I get like grounded. I get punished. So where is the one place I can kind of put that out without any consequence if they don't catch me? Well, it's school. The thing is, these bullies, you can't change them. You can't change the fact that this motherfucker, the guy who's bullying you, you can't change the fact that he comes from a chaotic household. You couldn't change the fact that I could, that I came from a chaotic household. You can't change that fact. It's a fact that is set in stone. My household is, what, what are you going to do? Come like knock on my door and say, hey mom, please be nicer to your son. I'm already traumatized. I'm already damaged. If I'm bullying you, I'm already fucking damaged at this point. Now the thing is, the worst thing you can do, and we know how the system fucking manipulates us into becoming these weak men and we will not bow down to that we will not bow down to mediocrity what they tell you to do is tell the teacher hey raise your hand tell the teacher and just snitch and say this and say that the teacher will take care of it let me tell you if you if you told the teacher the first thing i would do is come to you intimidate the fuck out of you beat the shit out of you and threaten and literally again this is very fucked up of me to say right it is very fucked up of me to say but i'm being as authentic i'm being as unfiltered as possible towards you if you told the teacher the first thing i would do the first thing i would do is once i get like told by the teacher hey stop hitting the kid or i'll put you in detention the first thing i would do is i would leave that teacher's office and it's happened multiple times it's happened multiple times in my my school experience i would leave that fucker's office i would come straight towards you straight towards you and confront the fuck out of you and it would end in another fight which i would win and pummel you and embarrass you you don't want to tell the teacher bro all these like the, the fucking system tells 
keep the men weak, keep them feminine. We're not trying to be fucking feminine, bro. The things I'll tell you here will actually cure your bullying problem forever. Forever, I promise you this. These, these like, these higher ups, these teachers, the, the headmaster, they're trying to keep us fucking weak and feminine. Let me tell you, that is exactly what you don't want to do. You don't want to tell the teacher. Because I would beat the shit out of you if you told the teacher. Because then, like, imagine, I'm going to get a grounding at home anyway. The teacher called my parents and said, hey, your son's bullying kids at school. I'm going to go home, get a fucking grounding. My parents are going to beat me up. I might as well come and beat you up. <laughs> I might as well come and beat you the fuck up before I get beaten up at home. Right? So do not tell the teacher. This is what you do. I want you to firstly visualize two dogs. Two dogs. One dog is a very silent dog. Both of these dogs, for some reason, you're a dickhead and you want to mess with the dog, you want to poke it with a stick, you want to like kind of squash its face and you want to mess with it, you want to squish it, you want to hug it, whatever you want to do. Now I want you to visualize this other dog. This other dog, you poke it with the stick and it's, these, both of these dogs are very small dogs, like right? they're like chihuahuas, Pomeranians. They can't harm you whatsoever. Both of these dogs are small dogs, they can't harm you. Now visualize this other dog. The other dog ignores you unless you poke it with the stick and let you like push it around and do all that. This other dog, you poke it with the stick, you try and do something it, something to it. The, the immediate fucking reaction of this dog is for it to bark and fucking and like bite your arms. You know the chihuahuas fucking do this a lot, right? This fucking this ugly ass noise of Pomeranians and small dogs they, like start barking at you and they they growl and they like show teeth and everything and they start biting you. Ask yourself this question. Who are you more likely to piss off? To poke with the stick? Who are you more likely to poke with the stick? The chihuahua that just uh, sits there and does uh, hey man, uh, well, sits with like puppy eyes and gets sad and everything. Or would you rather poke it, poke that dog, or would you rather poke the dog that the second you get near to the stick, the second you get near to the rabbit, <laughs> fucking rips off your finger, starts biting you, making you bleed and everything. Keep those two dogs in mind and stay visualizing them. Because what I'm about to teach you in this video is something you you haven't really fathomed before and it's something nobody tells you to do. There used to be this guy and this poor guy, bro. My friends, my, <laughs> my friends and I, what we would do is bring this guy this guy was a very easy target we would bring this guy and we would do this to many of these people they called us it was it was me and um, my friend group right but they called us the fucking peaky blinders of the school simply because we had this one thing we would do all the time all the time we would do this one thing we're five guys okay and i'm the one leading this i'm the one always in charge of the attack I pick the victim, <laughs> I pick the victim, I say what time, and I say how we drag him, and I do the, the final deed at the end, which I will tell you what it is. We're like the fucking Peaky Blinders, right? We stand, and we zone into a victim, and we, we like build a fucking reputation, right? You, you don't want to mess with this group. We find the motherfucker, and what we do, this is actually a, like, this is fuck, this is traumatic as fuck, okay? What we would do... Because we would find some targets, some targets we would, we would never, like, we would even bother, like, we'd leave them alone because they were doing the thing that I'll teach you later, I'll teach you in a second. Some of these targets, we just leave them alone, and some others, you know what we do? We would literally ambush the fuck, <laughs> ambush these guys, one guy grabs his right leg, one guy grabs his left leg, one guy, one guy grabs his arm, and the other guy grabs his arm, so that's four guys on each limb. And they lift him. They literally lift him. And I'm commanding the walk. You know where we'd lift him? We'd lift him into a fucking school bathroom. <laughs> we'd lift the guy. And he's, he's like screaming and yelling and everything. And we're like trying to like keep his mouth shut. And I'm yelling at the guy in like this very intimidating voice. They call me the ape in school. They call me... They literally call me... I had the nickname the ape. Because of what I do in these stalls, in the bathroom, in the bathroom stalls, I literally like turn my voice into this fucking demonic like, the duck, the duck, <laughs> right? I'm just saying, I'm saying, don't talk now. Imagine me yelling that and yelling the most like horrific <laughs> insults to you. Why? Why did I do this? Why did I command? Like, why did I get people and bring them? into the bathroom 
into stalls so I could fucking flood them with water and yell at them in this like intimidating voice. Don't talk before I open your mouth and put water inside! Why did I do that? Because it was funny. I traumatized these motherfuckers. I like grabbed them, headlock them, choke them. Well, yeah, we'd all laugh and everything, but I traumatized these motherfuckers. Why? It's because they never barked like the second dog would. There was this one guy that I was doing this to every, like, every day for a long time, for a while. Months, right? Well, not really every day, like every week. We'd grab this one guy, like, fucking shove him into the stalls, shove him into the locker. And again, this is very fucked up. Very fucked up stuff, but... I'm just being as authentic, I'm trying to help you with this, I would never recommend doing this ever, like, I regret this a lot. I'd shove that, bring the guy, I'd grab him into the fucking, shove him into like the bathroom stalls, do all that. He'd literally do nothing, like a little bitch. One day, one day, we all grab him, he grab his legs, I'm commanding him and everything. The guy struggles fucking hard, and my team, my crewmates, <laughs> my crewmates that are like lifting him up. They're like actually kind of struggling to hold him. And I'm just looking at them. What the fuck are you doing? Put them. Come on, hold him. I'm like, yeah, we're trying, man, but he's, he's struggling so hard. Anyway, we end up bringing him to the bathroom anyway. His struggle was too weak. And now it's just me and him, because the tradition was just they all shove him into the stall and they leave me to deal with him. I do the rest. I turn like apeshit and, and like. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. I turn apeshit and I, I beat the shit up. <laughs> I do that. I do what I do, right? I'm banging on the doors and I'm yelling all the the atrocities and I'm intimidating and I'm giving him fucking PTSD and I'm doing all that. This time, keep in mind, I'm like 10 times stronger than this guy, right? The guy like starts fucking like shaking so hard and he starts like grabbing me. He literally like fucking grabs me like this. And he just says, stop, stop. And he starts fucking yelling and he starts attacking me. The attacks did nothing to me. But I look at this guy and it's, it's like, what the fuck are you doing? This isn't how I expected you to react. Usually you just like cower in fear and all that. This time, he fucking fought back. The guy fought back. The guy literally like, struggled and fought back and moved my arm away my arm away and like would grab my my shirt oh i could have like genuinely beat the shit out of him i could have destroyed him i didn't something told me not to something something said this guy leave him let him be and this is my like my fucking bully brain working right something just told me let him be Even though I could fucking maul him. The reason I let him go, because we figured out he turned into that second dog. That second dog you visualized. The one that would bark, the one that would slightly damage you and kinda make you bleed. It doesn't hurt, but it would like be a bit of a hassle. We never fucking bullied him again. We never did anything to him again. Granted, we like searched for other victims that didn't turn into the second dog. But we never bullied that fucker again. We never did anything to that guy again. Why? Because he turned into that second dog. Now I'm gonna say this to you because this is something you might have in your mind. You might think, well, if I fight back and if I struggle and if I do that, my teacher is gonna like put me in trouble. Listen, you fucking piece of shit. As a man, as a young masculine man trying to grow, trying to grab and drop his balls, your honor means everything. Fight back once. All you need to do is fight back once and struggle and struggle hard. Fight back once. The same thing that happened to me. Fight back once and they won't come back to you. Make sure that you know. Make sure they know that you will fight back every single time if they ever try again. Your honor, and think of this very carefully, bro. Like, let this, let this become part of your mind. Your honor is greater than everything when it comes to, like, school and reputation and masculinity and all that. Your honor is greater than everything. You get fucking suspended for a day because you punched the bully in the face and both of you got suspended. Fuck it. Your parents are gonna beat the shit out of you when you get home because you, you got into a fight. You were defending yourself. Your honor is greater than everything else. You're either going to be a bitch to the bully or you're going to be a bitch to the school. 
Or you grab your honor and you say, fuck it, I don't care. You say, fuck you to both of them. You fight against that, against the, 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 like the bully back. I kid you not, anybody who's ever like struggled against me, who's fought against me, I kind of said, eh, I, I could, but it's like, I'll just find someone else. And I did. Now imagine you find those fuckers that are getting bullied, right? Because this is, this is like the, the, the mission, the plan. You find those other, the new victims, because you're going to fight and, and just struggle. You don't even need to be like some crazy martial artist. Just fucking hit back. Scream, yell, struggle, be that second dog. Now imagine he moves on to like new victims, new prey. And you tell them exactly what I'm telling you. You spread the message of what I am spreading to you. Now all of a sudden you have like a literal group of people that will fuck with you forever. You saved them. And, and now you can like, if you want, you can turn this into a whole fucking like anime series where you lead a rebellion against the bully, but you got the point, right? Your honor is greater than everything, bro. And I was bullying that kid when I was like putting him against the wall, yelling in his face and everything. All I could think of was, this guy's a little bitch. If someone, even if some fucking 9 foot, 400 pound motherfucker came and like tried to do shit to me, at least I'd go down fighting. Go down fighting. That one time he went down fighting, you know what I thought? I thought, damn. Damn. This guy is no longer a little bitch. And even though I had the mind of a bully, I had greater respect for this guy. So you have the solution. You have the solution and it is to fight back. And if you're scared of what the school will do to you, fuck you and fuck your school. You either have the impending doom and consequences of being a little bitch and having your self-esteem destroyed for the rest of your life, having your mind traumatized for the rest of your life by being bullied by these people. You either bear those consequences or you bear the consequences of one time the school saying, hey, you're suspended because you had a fight. So the fuck what? At least now you're a man. At least now you, 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 you're no longer a little bitch because that bully thinks of you as a little bitch. I would think of you as a little bitch. So let me, re let me repeat this. Let me repeat this. Because now you can tell if I'd bully you or not. If you are that first dog who just cowers away, who just lets, who doesn't struggle, who doesn't fight. If you are that first guy, I will repeatedly carry, carry you every single time. Me and my fucking crew, I would repeatedly bring you, carry you, put you into the stall, spray you with the fucking water hose, put you against the wall, shove you in like your face, grab you by your collar, scream at you like this. I would repeatedly do it every single fucking time and just beat the shit out of you. I'll just, I will keep doing it fucked up for me to say i don't ever do this anymore right and like i preach the opposite obviously I, I preach men getting stronger so that you can fight back and fight for those who need it fight for the weak that's what i preach <sighs> fight back that's your solution fight back cause a scene and struggle bite and bark don't believe the shitty fucking like school systems that are trying to keep us weak and feminine us men trying to keep us weak and feminine don't believe them because it's us versus them right it's us versus them and i choose us every single time don't be weak don't be feminine fight back fucking struggle even if this isn't your way this doesn't just apply to like young kids middle schoolers it doesn't just apply to these people it applies to older people even the people that get like bullied in the workplace if you're 20 if you're 30 if you're 40 and you get bullied you do this, bro. It's what you do. Okay? Hope you found value in this video. Hope you could learn something. Actually, this honestly could be the thing that saves your fucking life. Saves your fucking life. So, I'm really glad I made this video for you, bro. You can subscribe if you'd like. Which you probably do. Probably would like. I'm just inspired. I've just sparked something inside of you to fight back, bro. To, like, reclaim your male aggression. If you found value in this, you can subscribe if you'd like, and welcome to our brotherhood.